This is a work of art. Hi guys, my name is Bree. I am a homeschooling mom of three and this is one of our favorite books that we have in our classroom and I got an idea to use it as an inspiration for a Mother's Day card. So here we go. What you're going to need, some mixed media paper, anything for watercolor that's thick is good for you to use and some cool pencils and pens for sketching. This is one of my favorites, a micron pen, all linked in my Amazon cart and some watercolors. You can see these are well used and loved. I like the array of colors and some nice brushes. I love the long stem brush. These are also in my Amazon cart. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your piece of paper and you're gonna fold it one direction first. This is hamburger style, if you remember, and you're gonna turn it over and fold it the other direction now using your pen to really get a solid line. And then here's a the trick, fold it the other way and you get that nice, beautiful line. All right, we're gonna get into it. I am starting to sketch using the book as inspiration. And I am starting from the bottom and kind of working my way up and building that border as I go. I'm using all different flowers that I see and leaves and filling in the space in between with designs and um, different types of flowers and leaves and fungus found in nature. These little mushrooms are really cute. They're my favorite. Um, I think that it's really fun here to just kind of branch off and think of the types of flowers you love. Don't get too precise with what you're doing. If you don't draw a lot, your hand may get tired, so a fair warning, nothing has to be perfect. Just go ahead and get fill the space, get a bunch of beautiful little flowers on there. When you start adding color, this is really going to come to life and be something really special. I like to kind of stop for every once in a while and see where I can add some leaves or some more patterning, and that looks pretty good. I like it. Let's add some color. All right, here we go. I'm using this round number two brush. I really like these longer brushes. I don't know, maybe the weight of it. Maybe I just feel fancy. I'm not sure, but here's my number one trick when doing watercolor, and it's something I didn't know until I actually filmed a class for one of my friends, a watercolor class, Watercolor Basics. Start with the lightest shades and the lightest colors first, and then you build color on top of that. Seems obvious, but I didn't know it, so maybe you didn't either. Here I started with the lightest beige color you can see in the snail, and maybe some of the grays in the background. There's a dragonfly in there. And then I added on some of the yellows, and now I'm moving on to pinks, and I'm building some darker reds there and some detailing in those flowers. I usually try to kind of do everything from one shade at a time, so if I'm working on pink, I fill in all the pink, and then I go back and do all the purple. And you can see these designs really do start to come into life as you layer them. Don't be afraid to add another color if something looks a little flat or not very exciting. Go ahead and add a darker shade or a complementary shade or heck, add a contrasting shade to it. I love these little green bits. Um, you know, you have kind of the filled in green, that like kind of agave green in the background. And then you add this darker green in. You can really mix some beautiful colors using a palette like this. A lot of times I'll mix on the mixing tray. Again, perfection is not the key here. This is watercolor. Have fun. Let loose. One thing I also like to do is I sketch out white parts in my leaves so that when I am painting them, I can kind of keep my brush off of those. It helps me remember also the veining in the leaves and in the flowers. Add something really special if you add some highlights and lowlights. It is really going to give this drawing some dimension. Well, Looks like we're done with watercolor. That is looking really good. I'm really happy with it. And I think we're going to add one last final touch. Just happy Mother's Day.